there will be some some big announcements soon. And and let me tell you, if you if you know anything about me, and you go back and look at anything that I ever said, I never say anything that I don't do, ever. I've never said that. If, and and we've been kicking the whole boxing thing around for a long time. You've never heard me commit and say, I'm in. I'm in. There, there will be some, some big announcements soon. And, and let me tell you. So, Dana White uh, is saying here that he's ready to get into boxing fully. Like, uh, I don't understand. Uh, though, I understand that he has been a, a very good fan of boxing since day one. I think he was even a boxer himself before... Uh, he started UFC before they bought UFC and he became the president. What I don't understand is that this same guy has not really been saying uh, how it is when it comes to his fighters, you know, going over to boxing to fight. You know, uh, we saw that Conor McGregor became a bigger star, you know, after he fought uh, Floyd Mayweather in 2017. Connor got around $100 million, you know, after he fought Mayweather and he became a global superstar after then. He became so rich that, he, like, he didn't even need to fight in the UFC again. Now, I think what Dana is afraid of is, is that he doesn't want another person to become a superstar like Connor in the UFC. That's why uh, he has stopped any UFC fighter that wanted to fight uh, boxing, you know, because he didn't want to make that mistake again. You know, I think that's what happened. And a lot of UFC commentators, they have said the same thing. So, but now he's suddenly interested in boxing, like promotion, you know, boxing promotion. What could be uh, the the factor here? What, what could be the reason he's suddenly interested in boxing now to promote boxing? Because uh, when Francis Ngannou wanted to fight Tyson Fury two years ago, I think that was part of the contract. That was, that was what he wanted UFC to do for him, but they refused it. They said, you can go and do it on your own. We are not part of this. And I believe if UFC had allowed him, they would have been part of the uh, everything the promotion and everything but they left him and he made it happen on his own um a lot of even sean o'malley mentioned that he wanted to fight uh, devin any or tank recently you know like he wanted to go into boxing too but i think they shut it down too that's why nate diaz was going on his own to fight jake paul and other people you know uh they did it on their own without the ufc backing them so i think um the factor here may be because of the Saudi money. Maybe Dana, I don't know. I don't know if he needs the Saudi money. I'm not saying he needs the Saudi money to promote it, but I think they realize that, you know, um, the boxing is uh, highly independent. Uh, it's, it's a highly independent sport, and the Saudis now they are p pumping a lot of billions of dollars on this uh, event they are, they, they are putting up like the one that happened last night in the Wembley Stadium, Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois. You know, the Anthony Joshua was knocked out, but it was a big event. It was a big event, like 96,000 people filled up the Wembley Stadium here in London. So, you know, the thing is, these events are very big and the money there now, you can't just overlook the money because it's, you know, there is no... You can't just say you are tired of making money or something, you know. So I don't know his plans. You know, we have seen what he did with his slap competition, past slap or so. So I don't know uh, his plans uh, in boxing, but I think you know, um, as uh, Ariel said, Ariel Awani granted an interview. He said, "Yes, he's happy. He's going. Uh, Dena is going to into boxing, but I don't think he should." uh prepare his mind that he want to use the same business model you know like the way he's handling fighters in the ufc maybe they are pay and stuff like that you know restricting them to get external sponsorships so he doesn't think that will work in boxing because boxers you know they are you know they are always trying to move from one promotion to another they are not really dependent on anybody so and they want to get their sponsors and everything so um you know area granted this interview watch it
Uh, we'll see. I mean, he has been saying this exact same thing since 2017. Uh, he was in uh, Ireland uh, yesterday in Dublin, to be exact, uh, promoting the Callum Walsh fight. Uh, he, he's taken a liking to young Callum Walsh and has been working with Tom Loeffler to promote him. And it's airing on Fight Pass. And I understand it's also going to air on TNT Sports in the UK. In the UK. So that's great. That's brilliant. Uh, he's using those relationships. The UFC has a deal on TNT. It's it's brilliant. Um, when the Floyd Connor fight happened, you know, he was walking around with Zufa boxing shirts. He was selling them. He was saying, I'm coming to fix boxing. I'm coming to save boxing, all this stuff and more. He is a diehard boxing fan and always has been. And, and, and while he has been critical of some elements of boxing, he has always shown great love and respect for the sweet science. But he has been saying this since 2017. Uh, uh, one of my favorite Twitter accounts, Jedi Goodman, put together a thread today of all the time since 2019. So he missed two years prior where Dana was talking about like coming into boxing. And so you can add this one to the list. There could be a difference though now for two reasons. Number one, UFC owned by Endeavor under the umbrella of TKO with WWE. And I know that there are members of TKO who are huge boxing fans as well. Um, connoisseurs, if you will, Nick Khan in particular, the president of WWE. He entered the agency world by representing Manny Pacquiao and Freddie Roach. He's a Vegas guy. And so I, I think that there, there could be something there. Also, Turkey Al Sheikh. Uh, obviously a big boxing guy, they have a great relationship now. Uh, he could help this, um, you know, this venture get off the ground too. I will say this though, I am not doubting that Dana wants to get into boxing. I'm not doubting that it's going to happen finally. Sometimes things take longer and I'm not doubting that he could be successful in boxing. What I am doubting though, and what I will say won't be successful is if he tries to use the same business model that he has applied to the UFC, to the sport of boxing. I don't think he will, for the record. But if that is the plan, I would say that's a mistake. You cannot do that. It works in the UFC, the business model, the pay structure, because it, it was set, they set the standard. As you know, boxing is completely different and you cannot tell fighters what to wear. You cannot be as, 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 as strong-handed as, as he is. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. And, and you know, maybe he's dipping his toe in the water with, with uh, Callum and a couple others. Uh, he, he referred to himself as HBO Sports yesterday um, at the uh, presser, implying that Fight Pass is a place that can air multiple events. It's an interesting concept. They're obviously not quite there just yet. I would strongly argue that DAZN is HBO Sports in 2024, and I'm not just saying that because I work for them. They are the ones with the deals with the likes of, you know, Matchroom and Golden Boy and others. Um, but let's see how it all goes. It's great. Look, I, I've said it time and again. Combat sports are on fire, boxing is on fire, MMA is on fire, pro wrestling is on fire. It's a great time to get involved. And uh, you know, wh what I would say is, I am here as well. Some people said that I didn't know about boxing. I hope I've proven otherwise. And what I would say to those who want to come to boxing is, the water is warm, join me. Get him. As Ariel has said, uh, boxing is not ufc where you dictate what fighters do what the the kind of uh sponsorship they take you know or you, you even stop them from taking sponsorship boxers you know they are different animals they don't give a damn about anything if you mess up they leave you as a promoter go to another promoter so um i think it's going to i don't know it's going to be a good addition to the boxing industry I, I think he's going to play his game very well. So let's see what he has to offer in the boxing. Maybe he will start his own promotion altogether, or he will have to join the uh, other ranking promoters already. I don't know. So let's see what happens. What do you think? Do you think Dana will be successful in the boxing industry the way uh, he has done in the MMA? Share your comments. Like this post. Thank you for watching. See you later.